welcome to this special edition of Knee Waste at St John's. We're welcoming today Professor Plastic, who's going to answer your questions about all things plastic. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Dr. Uh, we'll go into the first question, which has come from our Twitter feed. What's the best type of plastic or most common type of plastic that you can recycle? It's a good question. Uh, we do, the majority of our plastic comes from milk bottles. Uh, it's very readily available. We can get it from multiple sources. We actually have um, companies within our local community that collect it for us. Uh, Aviva, Banatines, and they supply us with as much milk cartons or as many milk cartons as we can possibly recycle. We can also do other plastics as well. We do some polypropylene, um, but that's more or less it. So HDP and polypropylene oh, are the two main you. ones that we do. So J James on Twitter would like to know, is there any other household plastics that could be used in your recycling process? Thanks, James. That's a great question. Uh, obviously, in school, our, most of our sources are HTP or milk bottles. Now, we can also do polypropylene too, which is the, the, the juice bottle tops, you know, off your iron brew, and obviously there's lots of other brands that are available too. But the, that harder plastic, we can recycle them too as well. They're great for colours. Thank you. This is a more technical question, again from Twitter. What machinery do you use to recycle the plastic? Uh, we use machinery from a company called Clark. Uh, we have a sheet press, which is a CR30, and we have a, a shinny chipper. Uh, now, they're both good machines. They're quite small, they're quite compact. Uh, they're both portable as well, they're on wheels. Now, if you think about them size-wise, they're about the size of a, a washing machine in floor, in the actual footprint of them, uh, but they're about between four and five foot uh, in old money tall. Okay, thank you. And we're going to go now to a video recorded question from one of our pupils. How do you make the big blocks of plastic? How do you make the big blocks of plastic? We took a lot of time and we did a lot of experimenting with these to try and get them solid. Now, if you imagine this is five, nearly five kilos of milk bottles here. So, you know, we're, we're talking not just one or two, we're talking lots and lots. And a little bit of numeracy thrown in there too. So what we've done is we've made a mould and we kind of heat them up. But really, this is kind of... To go into the detail of how we do it is actually probably going to take longer than you know just this little Q&A. So I think we'll do a separate uh, actual video on how we make these. I think it would be quite interesting to do. Thank you. That's great. We'll look forward to that. Uh, Heather Set Academy would like to know if you've had a go at turning any of your blanks. Yeah, we have tried various methods of turning them. We have used a computer lathe. We have used a centre or a metal working lathe to turn them. We've even tried them on the wood turning lathe. Uh, we've had various success, we've had some that weren't so successful. Uh, a lot of it was to do with the early process when we had holes within the actual material itself. We seem to have got that sorted out with our big blocks and I think we're going to do an episode where we just look at this on its own. Okay, thank you. And we'll go to a question again from one of our pupils. When we recycle plastic drink bottles, does it make a difference? Thanks, Kieran. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I think when you think about the, the volume of plastic that's produced daily in the world, uh, one or two bottles, you think, is it going to make a difference? But I suppose if we all had that attitude that only one bottle, two bottles, it's not going to make a difference. I think you know, every little bit does help. And I think perhaps the awareness is more important than the actual recycling. I think when the children see or they understand why they you know, have to recycle, but I think it's more important than actually the recycling itself. I think sometimes with the, the plastic water bottles, they would actually better to be reused or refused. And, you know, an, another way of carrying that water and using that water would be better. Oh, thank you, Professor. What type of plastic is used for medicine capsules? Medicine capsules? I, I don't think uh, medicine capsules are made of plastic. I, it wouldn't be a suitable thing to have uh, made from. I think they're made from uh, an animal product, maybe gelatine or some other kind of plant-derived um, Okay, not starch. plastic then? Not a question not for plastic, us. Not one for me. What is the most common plastic polluting our ocean? Uh, by far, the most common plastic in our ocean is polystyrene, um, from single-use food containers, uh, coffee cups, uh, burger boxes. Uh, it makes up over 50% of the, the waste that goes into our oceans. Oh, thank you for that. Finally, a question from one of our pupils here at St John's. Professor, what's your favourite plastic? Um, I think, you know, a favourite plastic, I think it would almost be like being a parent and saying, uh, who is your favourite child? Uh, do you like this one because they have this kind of qualities and properties, or do you like this one? I think, I personally, I couldn't choose. I do have a little soft spot for ABS. Oh, what have you, do, Dr Design? What's your favourite plastic? Well, personally, I like a bit of co-polyester. This water bottle is made from co-polyester, and I've had it for years, and it's great. 
Uh, that's very interesting. Thank you for joining us, Professor. Thank you for having me. It's been fantastic. Excellent. Thank you for watching this episode of Nay Waste at St John's with Professor Plastic on the YouTube channel. Please watch out for our future episodes when we've shown you more information on the recycling processes and the products that we manage to produce. Thank you for watching Nay Waste at St John's. Mm -hmm.